Hi everyone, welcome back to Online Darts and here we are, another very special Zoom. We've got Richie Edice with us. Richie, it's been quite a few days for yourself. Have you had time to relax and take it all in? What's gone on? Um, relax wise, I slept all day yesterday. But um, yeah, it's taking it all in. Yeah, it, it, it sunk in probably pretty much a day to be fair. Just thinking back, obviously I was disappointed of losing. That's the second final to lose the Worlds, but I'm just happy, ecstatic about the uh, tour card. It's just obviously what I want to start yeah. with. Do, do, does that mean more than the Worlds, obviously? Because the Worlds is just one shot of glory, isn't it? Where the tour card's for two years and you can establish yourself back among the world's best again. Yeah, I mean, it's always, I say it's not always nice to um, play in the Worlds, but I've got the tour card for two years and now I've got a big chance to well, get a good life for myself and, and start a, a proper dark career. Has it been frustrating for yourself that you've been off the tour for a while? Yeah, I mean, it was it was my own fault. The first time I got my tour card, I, I, not, I won't say I took it, didn't take it serious, but I took it a little bit more lightly than I should have. I started off slow and I had so much to do in the second year. So the learning curve-wise, as soon as February comes, I'm right on it and give it a go. Do you think that that will stand you in good stead knowing where you went wrong the first time round. Yeah, yeah, because from that very first tournament, very first day, I'll be, well, I'll be focused beforehand, but once I get there, I'll be, yeah, 100% know what I need to do, know what the surroundings properly, the, obviously the players, but know what I need to do just to get in that top 64. Is it a massive relief that you haven't got to go to the dreaded Q school as well, that you've done it before that? Yeah, that's one of the, it's the hardest tournament I think you, you can even you can ever play. It's just mentally draining. If you don't get it in the first couple of days, then last two, it's, you just you're knackered, your arms gone, and sometimes it ain't the best players to get through. It's the ones that can hold the nerve and hold their body up. To be fair, looking back at the weekend on the Challenge Tour, first couple of days didn't go according to plan. Heading into that last day. What was confidence like and did you still believe that you could get the job done or did you think maybe it was just a little bit too far out of sight? I thought, I thought finishing the top two was out of sight, definitely. Um, I was looking, trying to get, to be honest with you, just the UK Open. Top, I think it was either 10 in it, I think, 10 or 12. Yeah. But obviously the, the first tournament on that Sunday went pretty well perfect and then I started believing in myself that I could because I, I went from like 40 odd, I think, to fifth. In one tournament, so I was that close. What's going through your mind on the second one? Are you aware of everything that is on the line going into that last game? No, I didn't know nothing. I, I just knew I had to win it to finish top by, I think it was £50 in the end. And I, I come off the final with the ump because I thought I lost everything, what tour card was. I'd walked off and it was only my manager that said to me, uh, you've got your tour card now. And I was swearing and <laughs> beforehand before I knew but no yeah I, I didn't know I just knew I needed the win for the world in it for those that don't know what are those challenge tour events like and these were di this, these six here were a lot different to the others but they are long days I mean I was at the venue at half seven and most of the time even I was there till five six sometimes if you're winning in the last event before you was there at ten o'clock at night to get back up again. It's just gruelling. Is it the tough surviving? Do you have to be mentally switched on for that whole day rather than maybe the better players with ability-wise if you switch off where someone like yourself, as you say, you said you grafted through them. Is that the key to some of these? Yeah, you've just got to dig deep and just, uh, yeah, just take every game that comes. Can't keep thinking because I say it's long days. You ain't got to worry about the next game. Just keep on the game you're on. And just just plod, plod along, really. Spoke to David Evans yesterday. He said during that final he was pacing up and down. He said he couldn't watch the actual game. He was watching it on Dark Connect, literally pacing up and down the building. And we spoke to him about the golden ticket, as Barry always alludes it to. I don't think people quite realise how much this means to players, do they? No, I mean, as I said a little while ago, it, it can change your whole life. You look at Nathan. Um, oh, Nathan. Aspinall. Asp Asp yeah. He, he was, what, Q score was it three years ago? Yeah. Got his card now, look at him. Glenn Durant. Q score last year. 
or your performance just it it's just buzzing there and he's up in the top top 12 16 in the world and it, it's, it's changed their lives one one majors and premier league it, it just can change your whole life forever during lockdown you played a lot of online darts in the modus live league the same as david evans do you think that really helped you because you were dart fit, mentally ready, like having played some of the best players in the world all the way through lockdown? Oh, 100%. I, I, yeah, I, I got a new set of darts just before lockdown and I was iffy whether to use them obviously before the lockdown started. And the online darts gave me my home comforts and playing with a new set of darts. And you say playing with the very good best players in the world, some of them. It gave me confidence when I come out of this to be able to play the play the best players like Scott Mitchell at Challenge Tour and all them. I knew I had it in me to do it. Where some people have had six months off and went in there rusty, which obviously that don't help. No, like I say, you, David Evans, Scott Mitchell, all finishing in that top five, and you all played a lot of darts and that. Even though you weren't face to face, that competitive practice, you can't put a price on that, can you? No, no, because obviously you still can hear what they're scoring, when they're scoring it. And it is just, yeah, so it's match practice. I think I've said before, I don't practice as much as I should indoors because I don't, throwing darts at a board six hours a day, I don't think helps you as much as match practice. Getting that the bottle at the end of legs when someone's next year on whatever. I think that's the key at the moment is just get this match practice in. Looking ahead, where do you assess your game right now? Where where do you think you are in the in the current standings? Good enough to challenge top sixty four, top thirty two. Where would you put your game right now? At this point in time, definitely good enough to get to the top sixty four. And once I get to there, I think I think I could push up. It'd just be a matter of time. I say I got new darts, new setup. I'm feeling so com comfortable, and this was the pro first proper tournament away from online. And I felt comfortable, even when I played not so good. It felt comfortable. I was just getting beaten by the better player. Is it as well? Obviously, because you're starting with nothing, starting at one two eight with all the rest of the new, new tour card holders. Is it important not to get disheartened by draws? Because obviously, you could get some three or four stinkers in a row, not win any ranking points and is it not not panicking just keeping that focus and believing in yourself and believing that tide will turn yeah I mean I, yeah even before I used to get some really bad draws and it, it, it for me it did it got to me after a while but I understand now that you're going to get them and sooner or later it'll be on the flip side and you'll get through and you, you pick some ranking points up or you get through some qualifiers and sooner or later, you say that it, it, it will come together. Looking ahead, are you planning on going, or have you been invited to the Winter Series and the Euro Tour qualifiers and that coming up? I'm off to Germany tomorrow, so I'm doing the, the two Europeans. Um, I'm just waiting to hear from uh, Graham and that, that if I'm in the Winter Series. We understand there's one person dropped out, so that's David's place. So we're just waiting for us if there's any more. But I will definitely be there if I get invited. So. Was that a big decision to go to Germany in the current climate? We've seen Peter Wright pulling out, Gary Anderson pulling out, or was it an easy decision for you to, to go? Uh, for me personally, I, I only decided a couple of weeks ago, even before Challenge Tour, but we have decided to drive. So it's just me and my mate uh, Scott, Scott Marsh in the car. We've been together at Challenge Tour, so we ain't around too many people and have to sit on the planes and that. It's just a longer journey. Would you would would you have been comfortable going on a plane if you had to right now, as personal preference? Uh, I I don't know. It's I'd like to think they look after everything they put forward is to look after you and keep you safe. But there is that doubt, and and uh, yeah, I don't think I'd have flown if I'm honest. Just at That's this point, it's interesting. Obviously, the news break today that Peter Ryan, Gary Anderson, both not in the World Cup for that for that reason. So stars at the top of the game are also thinking about it as as well. I'm guessing you're relieved that the Winter Series, if you're in it, is in the UK then as well? Yeah, I mean, was, the other one was in Germany, wasn't it? That was a bit different. Well, I probably drove still, but 
Yeah, it, it's better that it's in Coventry. It's only down the road for a little while. So I can just get in the car, be there an hour and a half, two hours. And yeah, ain't got to travel too much. You're in your little bubble then, isn't you? Yeah, obviously as well. Worrying, not worrying times, because the way the PEC have done it has been brilliant. But when you see top pros like Adrian Lewis and Stephen Bunting failing COVID tests and, and no symptoms whatsoever, it just makes you think that it can happen to anyone because you think, oh, it will never happen to me. And then when you see people at the top of the game, it happening to you. Does it make you think? Oh, definitely. I mean, yeah, you say you could be walking around with it without knowing. I, I don't know how long until symptoms come out or if it, ever, if it ever comes out sometimes. But, yeah, it is scary. I mean, you could be sitting next to someone in any kind of room, restaurant or whatever, and they could have it not knowing or you could have it not knowing and you could be spreading it. So, yeah, it's a strange situation at the moment. So, looking ahead to your new season, so to speak, because I'm guessing it starts now, if the events you're planning, is this just preparation for 2021 or is anything a bonus what happens between now and then it's all a bonus I mean I've done it I, I said the same as last year when I was in the Challenge Store and got inv- invited to them all it, it's a happy bonus I shouldn't be there but, yeah, I mean there's one to eight other players that play in it so every, anything I get is a bonus and hopefully maybe I can get to the Worlds that way you mean, so you haven't given up hope on another another famous Ali Pally display like last year you can never give up hope, can you? If you give up hope, it's not point, no point playing it. That's a very good attitude to have because you see youngsters throwing away darts and not trying. So that's a very good approach. I really like that. And if you learn that over time, how to, how to come with that mental attitude? Yeah, I mean, I was probably one of the world's worst for giving up, throwing things and getting the right time walking away. But yeah, I'm getting a bit old now. So you just take what you get. And if you can get it, good luck to you. Do you wish you were 20 years younger playing this game and starting again? I do, but I don't because them, them youngsters are they're different gravy, some of them. I mean, I lost, obviously, Kevin in the final, the second challenge tour. Awesome player. I, I mean, yeah, it'd be nice to play with them back, back then when I was there. But I just think that the, 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 the youngsters coming through is ridiculous. They've got no fear on anything. Great way to leave it there, Richie. Thank you very much, as always, and congratulations on winning your tour card back, and we look forward to seeing you in 2021, mate. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Cheers.